Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all doing really well, staying safe, growing out some of your hair like I am. For a lot of the beginners watching or anybody that's just trying to learn to code for the first time, I'm sure you followed many, many online tutorials. Tutorials, they're great things. Beginners use them, experts use them, but usually when an expert follows a tutorial, it's much more effective. For this video, I'm just gonna give some quick tips on how to utilize online tutorials better. So if you're just learning how to code, you can learn to code faster and more efficiently. So that's my goal for this video. Let's see if it helps. First, I'm gonna reiterate the advice you've probably heard from a lot of other YouTubers is that you don't wanna do tutorial after tutorial after tutorial. At some point, it does not become productive. Overall, in software engineering, engineering in general, 90% of the battle is figuring things out on your own. And if you're constantly handheld step-by-step, step, if you're handheld with tutorials, you'll never develop that skill of independently figuring something out. And that's really important. With that said, with that said, at the same time, if you're a beginner, if you're watching this and you're just trying to learn your first programming language, you definitely need a structure or else you'll kind of be flailing around and not sure where to direct your attention. If you're learning something new, you always need a little bit of structure. So this kind of leaves us in a little bit of a paradox. I probably just confused you. I just told you on the one hand, you need a little bit of structure to learn something new. And on the other hand, I just told you, don't follow too many tutorials. So what's it gonna be? All right, so let's talk through this strategy. What am I talking about? For example, you want to learn a programming language for the first time. You just pick any language, it doesn't matter, you want to learn Python. The first thing you do should be pretty obvious is that you just follow a tutorial about Python. If you've never done it before, there's no way you can just pick up a computer and learn it. You have to find a course, read the reviews, and just follow a course at least twice. Just follow an introduction course on Python. That's the basic table stakes that you have to do first. Once you complete the course, let's say complete the course two times, the next part is where you put a twist into it and make it a little more challenging. Pick a different programming language. Let's say you pick Ruby, for example. What you're gonna do next is that you're gonna actually repeat the Python curriculum you did, but just use Ruby. What I mean here is that if the tutorial taught you how to manipulate files in Python, you're gonna do the same thing in Ruby with just Google and Stack Overflow. If the tutorial held your hand and taught you how to do for loops and set up basic data structures in Python, you're gonna do it on your own with Ruby or any other programming language. I really like the strategy because it develops two different skill sets at the same time and they both reinforce each other. So the first skill set is the foundation of the tutorial itself. You're following this lesson, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, you follow it, it has structure. The moment you try to replicate those lessons into a new environment, you take that Python course, you try to figure it out on how to do it in Ruby, that's when you usually exercise those independent problem solving skills and that's really 90% of engineering. This same basic idea really translates far out beyond just learning how to code. You can also do it for frameworks. So for example, if you're trying to be a front-end developer and you follow a React tutorial on how to build a to-do list app, just try to build the same to-do list app with AngularJS. If you're following a guide on how to do user authentication with Rails, just figure it out with another framework like Django with just Google. So I'm getting a little philosophical here, but this is kind of the essence of software development and engineering. Once you get into software, you're gonna figure out that one thing, one exercise, one app, one system can be implemented a million different ways. You can't just solve one thing with one solution. There's so many ways to solve it. So no matter if you're a beginner or you're a super duper expert, 100 years of experience, you want to be able to look at the same problem with many different perspectives and many different angles. You need to solve the same thing multiple ways and you'll become a much, much better engineer. So that's just some food for thought. All right, let's wrap this thing up. If you're a beginner, just try out this method. It's worked pretty well for me. Just learn Python, learn your first programming language and follow a tutorial. Once you're done with that, do it twice. Try to do the same exact exercises on your own 
with the new programming language. I'm gonna link a video here, or it's gonna show up here or somewhere. I'm gonna link a video of an old document I made, a, an old document I made about how to learn any kind of programming language. It's relevant for any language. Just pick one, follow along, and it should be helpful. Let me know how this goes. Please like the video, share something in the comments, give me a thumbs up, whatever you have to do, and I'll catch everyone next time. All right, take it easy.